In today's video, we are opening a massive Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. What's up guys, we're back with another massive collection opening and this one might be interesting because this is coming from someone that you guys know Lars. So Lars has actually sent us stuff to open a lot of times, like four or five different times, massive mystery boxes, ghost shares and stuff like that. And he decided he recently, well, he didn't, I guess he, I, I don't know if he decided this or not, but they recently had a child. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speculate if there was a decision or not, but he hit me up and said, you know, I think I need to move on from a lot of my collection and it would really help with like, you know, new kids and stuff like that. So I said, you know what, let's do it. And it's gonna be really cool because a lot of these items we actually pulled on the channel. So I think it's a mixture of sealed product and some pulls that we had on the channel and then some other stuff that he pulled himself. So I'm actually really excited. There's three massive boxes here. So there should be some pretty crazy stuff. Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this quarter century elemental hero Neo. So uh, it's sealed as well. So all you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What's your favorite item in this collection? And let's get to it. All right, let's go. Let's open this thing up. I'm gonna open the first box. There's there's three boxes. So, I mean, this might, depends on how much sealed stuff is in here, but this could be a long video. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. If it's a bunch of sealed stuff, it could be not as long because, you know, they take up more space, but I don't actually know for sure what's in here. He just said, it's, you know, a lot of, I mean, I know some of it is in here that we pulled because he told me, but I don't remember what else is all is in there. Let me open this up real quick. Right, it's taking a while. All right, right off the bat, we are, it's gonna be a nice collection. That's all I gotta say. Okay, right off the bat, we have a third party, not blister, but like a box. So this is gonna be definitely something up my alley, some kind of stuff he's sent us before. So I'm definitely gonna be interested in buying this. Very, very cool. Five factory sealed packs. We haven't, I haven't actually bought anything yet. He just sent it to me. He's like, look, we can figure out what you wanna buy, what you don't wanna buy. Most likely it's gonna be pretty much everything because it's Lars, I've worked with him before. We've got great relationships, stuff like that. So, you know, unless, you know, there's some stuff that I might not, but we're just gonna have to see what's in here. Uh, we have a Blade Knight seal 10, very cool. Did he get this for me? <laughs> okay, this is, okay, maybe not because it has a little rip in it. Okay, yeah, Blade Knight, very, very cool. I mean, no big deal, just a couple of sealed products. Here, this looks like, you no, know, this could be booster packs. So it's a little box. Yeah, booster packs. Okay, that looks like Magic Ruler, Rise of Destiny, and what is the blue one? Dark Crisis, maybe? Yeah, Dark Crisis. Okay, so, okay, this is, <laughs> all right, Lars, I see you, Lars. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a nice collection. Okay, we've got the 2003 Dark Crisis packs. Very nice. All right, we got some 2004 Rise of Destiny. Very cool. We have some Spell Ruler. This is 2010, I think, because the red red logo. They look like a Legendary Collection packs. Very nice. So, I mean, we're it's all sealed so far. Good stuff. This is only the first box. This is insane. <laughs> this is only the first box. There's more to come. Okay, so that looks like Legacy of Darkness and uh, Shadow of Infinity Unlimited. Unlimited, I think, right? Yeah, Unlimited. Okay, and then... Legacy Dark, is that a Retro Pack 2? No, that's a, okay, a Labyrinth of Nightmare, okay. That's the uh, the ones out of the blisters, and then a bunch of Legacy of Darkness Unlimited. So a lot of good stuff in there. I'm not gonna spin, I'm not gonna pull them out, put them back in, you know, because you guys know what they are. We'll just look at one. Okay, a couple blisters coming. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a couple blisters. They are, they, they had to be bent a little bit to get in there, it looks like this one did. Uh, first edition Gladiator's Assault. That is pretty cool. Very cool blisters right there. I mean, Gladiator's Assault, one day we're gonna pull something great out of there. I'm still hoping for any of the top four cards, but I haven't pulled any of them yet. Then we have a gold series haunted mine. We've opened a few of these for Lars actually, so pretty cool. There's one more seal. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, I'm not gonna have to move this. Yu-Gi-Oh special edition box. So it's a Rise of Destiny special edition, champion edition. It also has Legacy of Darkness Pharaonic Guardian packs in there as well. That is crazy, champion edition. One Yu-Gi-Oh! Red Spells. Prepare yourself for the ultimate battle. I didn't say any words right there. With the champion edition, leave your opponent in the dust. Very cool. All right, that leaves us with two deck boxes out of this first one. There's still two more after this. So, And there's one that's huge. Uh, there's one deck box that includes some old school stuff. I mean, these are all unlimited, but they're original old school. I can tell just by looking at them. Magic. Uh, Catapult Turtle, Karibo. I'm wondering if these are a bunch of pulls, because who knows? Like, maybe if these are look like they could be uh, sent into, like, a bulk sub, it'd be pretty cool to have some unlimited PSA 9s, 8s, 10s, whatever. Because uh, I have been submitting a lot more, like, unlimited stuff and, like, lower-end stuff, just because, I mean, the bulk subs are getting cheaper, and it's, like, more worth it now. They're down to, like, I did one for 14 total. I think it's 14.99 right now, like, officially, but oh, those are first set. That's pretty cool. Fiend Mega Cyber. I don't know the conditions on these, but I'll have to check them later. Uh, Legendary Fisherman, Buster Blader, 
Premat, Nobleman, Call of the Haunted, Bean Mega Cyber, Dark Ruler, Dark Balter, Last Turn, Bottomless. That's just a rare, but very cool. Drop off. I need that for my <laughs> my Edison box. Very nice. Uh, creature swap. Hinokai. It's some first ads in here, man. First ads. Very, very nice. A lot of first ad LOD. Re Reinforcement of the Army is a good one for Edison as well. And uh, free the matches general. So a nice mix of just old foils right there that's pretty cool to see these days all right one more this looks like it might be more of the not the same but similar uh cost yeah we're moving to a little bit deeper oh king's knight queen's knight jack's knight i guess yeah ulties okay very nice first dead these are sleeved just uh penny sleeves we got the sukiyomi can't go through the cards there we go mass beast needle burger if for some reason this angle is really hard i don't know why karibo sui Jin. for some reason these don't want to slide though a little bit of a a little bit of a foil bleed on that one. Elemental Hero Neo Secret Rare. That's amazing. The promo from the tin. Phantom Beast Rock Lizard from Force of the Breaker. A bunch of promos here. Shrink, we can use it. Put that in our Edison box and they'll have a million of them. Gene Morph War Wolf. Yeah, these look like a bunch of supers. That Oh, Armageddon Knight. Wait, is that first dead? Oh, this is first dead. I can put it in my deck. Dang it. I need first dead. I still, that would still be an upgrade over what I have right now. Zombie Master. Gotta look for another one. Armageddon Knight, please. First dead, maybe. We have you, Bell. That's a big card. Uh, or at least not huge, but it was recently popular. Abyss King Shark from Tactical Evolution. We have Clay Charge. B okay, Clay Charge. We got the Bubble Blaster. Gene Warp Warwolf. We have, ooh, Arm Dragon level 10 from Duelist Pack. That's pretty awesome. Burst Return, and Ultimate Rare, and Cyber Prima. Okay. All right, that's some good stuff in box one. Let's move on to box two and see what's inside. All right, box two, Raging Battle Special Edition. We could get that, uh, whatever that card's called that I keep forgetting the name now, the uh, crazy promo. It's not actually a promo, but it comes with a promo slot. Uh, Vice Dragon. Plus, you can get first dead packs in there sometimes. I don't know if these are. Nope, they're not. You'd be able to tell on that one. Okay, we have a, TP, a random TP3 Axe Raider. That's pretty cool. But I feel like, it feels like that would be a giveaway, but there's nothing that says it is. So I guess it's not. Oh, there's more. There's more Raging Battle. There's a lot more where that came from. I see more. I see more Raging Battle, which is going to be, I mean, pretty exciting at some point if we open that up. Yeah, so we're up to that's eight, nine. So that's a nine out of ten. So it's basically a full special edition Raging Battle box. That's pretty cool. Then there is another GX special edition. We've opened a few of these on the channel as we've gone throughout. Very cool. We've got another third party blister. Over $11 value for only $7.99. Dude, $11 value. Magician's Force, IOC, LOD. Definitely worth $7.99 for sure. We got a couple more third party blisters. We got Ancient Sanctuary Lost Millennium, Ancient Sanctuary Lost Millennium, $4.99 each. Not bad. Thanks, Lars. I'll be buying those for three bucks. Thank you very much. We have a $4.99 and a, ooh, Dark Legends. Pretty classic. That's awesome. Oh, this is sweet. Check this out. Little boxes. So inside, it's just packs. So the cubes from Walmart is what this looks like. We've got Tactical Evolution. We've got Stardust Overdrive and Ancient Prophecy in there. There's more where that came from, by the way. All right, what order do I need to go in here? There's <laughs> some good stuff. Okay, so these look, I'm not gonna open these up because these look like all Ancient Prophecy. So a bunch of Ancient Prophecy, very cool. EX Gamer Special. Then we have a bunch of Stardust Overdrive. I'm assuming these are unlimited because the front are unlimited. Then we have a mixture here that we're gonna have to check out, but starting off, it's really Raging Battle. Then we have, looks like Shadow of Infinity, maybe. Yeah, Shadow of Infinity and Light, Light of Destruction in the back. Oh, they have reprint coming, so that's going to hurt those a little bit, but still pretty cool. Speaking of more Light of Destruction, these are original print, but they're they're not the reprint. You can tell these are like different, completely different. They look a lot different. That's I said different like four times, but they're very different, okay? All right, then we have glass. I've never had good luck out of loose glass. Not never, but very, very seldomly. So maybe this time will be the time. And finally, we have some Stardust Overdrive and Phantom Darkness. So Phantom Darkness, we don't get to open very often. So that is pretty cool. So that's that box. Uh, That was a lot. <laughs> that was really nice. And finally, the biggest of them all, a massive box. Let's see what's inside. All right, there's another deck box right here let's see what's inside okay not too many cards but maybe this is quality over quantity here we have the black wing armor master a couple of those we have fiendish chain cards consonants the battle fader Phoenixian. oh Phoenixian cluster okay i need some of those for the box i only have one uh sea lord dragon quacky mirror war arm swallow's nest rock stone uh man some of these are about to come out of the sleeve we have Elemental, or Earthbound Immortal. I cannot speak. I'm losing it, guys. Okay. Uh, War Arms. We have Sinister. We have Wolf Lightsworn Beast. 
Sinister. Mr. Sinister. All right, Sinister Sprocket. We have Twin Barrel Dragon, Gladiator, Beast War Chariot. Oh, didn't we pull this? I'm pretty sure we might have pulled all these, actually, but I'm pretty sure we pulled that one, that super off-centered one. Drop Off, Discord, Jester, Confit, Scrap Orthos. We have, uh, oh, Chaos Number Dragon from the uh, the TLM Special Editions. Reenact, Naturia Beast, uh, Kara Curry, and number 66, Master Key Beetle. Some pretty cool stuff in there. All right. Uh, oh, man. There is. Whoa. Okay. All right. We have a uh, Majestic Star Dragon 10. Very, very nice. Majestic Star Dragon. I think this is 2009, right? 2009. Collectible 10. Two Star Destroyer Overdrive, one Ancient Prophecy, one Raging Battle, one Crimson Crisis, and a Secret Rare card really pretty tin it doesn't have the window i actually really like the non-window ones i think they look good windows are cool and classic but i kind of like the ones without it to be honest i guess you can like both there's no reason not to then there's some blisters we've got a power of the duelist tactical evolution first edition magician's force very nice no dmg unfortunately but so cool dark crisis and dark crisis i mean wow this is one of the better uh collections we've like looked at in a while i mean i mean we bought a big huge collection the other day but this is still i mean this is pretty nice all right there are a few more blisters in here try to go through these a few at a time we have uh enemy of justice first ad strike of neos first ad exclusive pack cybernetic revolution unlimited pharaonic guardian unlimited pharaonic guardian unlimited we have labyrinth of nightmare legacy of darkness legacy of darkness dark beginning two Ancient Sanctuary, Ancient Sanctuary, and Force of the Breaker First Edition. That is a pretty sweet blister collection right there. Just a lot of different sets. I like that. Oh, by the way, we have the last Raging Battle Special Edition. So I'm guessing that was a full special edition at some point. Oh, here's a funny one. I actually have one of these laying around somewhere. Junk Warrior Starter Deck. Pretty cool. This thing's actually old. I think this might have been right when Synchros came out. So like 2008. So pretty old. There's another special edition and this one's really cool gladiators assault this one is big time i mean i have i've opened this on the channel before when it was back it was like 250 they're a lot more expensive than that now all right then one last box i don't know what's in here maybe looks like they're okay top loader cards here's the end of the collection guys so shout out to lars in the comments for uh first of all all the videos he has provided for us over the last couple years and now uh working with us on buying his collection so very excited to see these last few cards if i can get this open let's be careful all right, we have the top loaded cards right at the beginning. There's the Archlord Christia we pulled right here. Yeah, make that fall down. Okay, Archlord Christia, we pulled this. this is a big one out of the mystery box he sent us. So that's pretty amazing. Really nice looking. We have Rainbow Dragon. We might, we did pull a lot of these. Crystal Beast, Topaz, Tiger. There's the Rainbow Dragon we pulled. Super bad centering, honestly. This one might go in my Ghost Binder. I don't think I have an unlimited near mint. So this would just be cool because we pulled it. So it's coming back around. We pulled it for Lars. He's sending it back to us. That's very exciting. Solemn Judgment. I think we pulled a lot of these. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Overmind Archfiend. Overmind. That's the Ultra. We have TG Blade Blaster. Mystic Piper. is actually a money card now out of Extreme Victory. Very weird. Uh, Blue Rose Dragon. Shien's Dojo. TG Cyberman. Why are some of these supers top loaded? Interesting. Perfect Machine King. DR3. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Hyunlei is pretty big because of Edison. Sardust from the tin. Very cool. We, yeah, I think we opened that tin for him because he bought it for me and then we opened it. Uh, Power Tool Dragon. We have a uh, Light End Dragon, Red Dragon Archfiend. We pulled that one. That's man. We've had so many good pulls for Lars. Thought Ruler Archfiend. Yeah. Charge of the Light Brigade. Big time right there. Okay. Sphere of Chaos. Weirdly expensive. I mean, it's not like crazy expensive, but it's worth a little bit. Okay. We still got a few left. Let's see what else is in here in this collection. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Shout out Lars in the comments. We have Doom Shaman. Uh, Dark Horus, Dark Horus, uh, to Topax, whatever that thing is. Submarine Roid, our boy! If I could grade that, I mean, that thing's like a PSA 10, how cool would that be? That would be hopping in the collection, Submarine Roid. Cyclone, uh, Cyclone Blade, Fifth Hope, Serial Spell, Spark Blaster, uh, Flash the Forbidden Spell, Twister, Lush Dark Lucius Level 6, and a Cyber Summon Blaster with a Princess, Drastic Drop-Off, Gate Guardian. That's a pretty... That that looks like a 17 or a 10 reprint. I can't tell. Like a 2010. Oh, wait. These are clearly different. I think that might be 2010. Hard to tell. Summon Skull. Original. No, or, yeah, Euro. That's why. That's a reprint. 2017. So is that. That's original. This one might be 2010. I can't tell. Maybe 2017. Uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Cool. Serpent Knight. Imperial Order. Genzo. Beautiful. Ejected Fairly First Edition. Yadagrasu First Ed. 
And then the rescue ace turbulence is really trying to escape from this top lord. No, I'm not rescuing you. All right, that is a that's pretty cool. Like it's not often that you, so you open a pack for somebody and then they sell it to you later. It's so cool to like revisit those cards that we pulled. I mean, we've done like four or five awesome mystery box openings for Lars. So massive shout out because those were super fun. They're great content for me. And hopefully everything goes well with him and his family coming up soon. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments you appreciate him. That was an awesome collection. I'm super excited. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.